Okay, hi everyone. I guess I'm doing another one of these. Um, I guess I'll keep doing... I have no desire to be a, uh, a, a journalist or a YouTuber or anything like that. It's just really galling the way um, the Western press is uh, um, under-reporting and misreporting uh, what's going on in China. And uh, so I guess I'll do these until they stop doing that, which might be forever. Um, I, I at least want to do this one. Um, you've probably seen or uh, you will soon see uh, that they're now calling this the uh, the white paper re revolution or the white paper movement or the white paper rebellion. Um, and... Oops, there it is. I just put in uh, white paper uh, white paper revolution in here and it's like, uh, as you can see, it's a whole bunch of uh, people holding up white pieces of paper. And uh, the Western press is covering this and um, as I expected, they have no idea what it means. And the, uh, the BBC this morning said that the, it's something about censorship. And well, yes, 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 it is. It is something about censorship, but it's so much more than that. And I can't believe they can't muster the, uh, uh, the interest to go investigate what's going on. Oh, also, they said that there was protests in four cities. Like, do you even journalism? Are you even trying? And they only covered the one in Shanghai because, of course, they did. Right, because Shanghai, uh, all the Starbucks baristas speak English, and they have better hotels. They're afraid to journey into the interior of China just as much as they're afraid to journey into the interior of the United States. Um, <clears throat> well, no, there are protests in. Um, well, there are three in Beijing. There are at least eight cities: uh, Shanghai, Beijing, three places: Wuhan, Zhengzhou, Nanyang, Chengdu, Chongqing, and Guangzhou. That I know of, and who knows what's happened since then, because uh, it's been six hours since I, <laughs> since I checked the news. But um, uh, this white paper thing is really interesting and actually rather poignant and kind of moving, and I wanted to uh, um, uh, explain to you what it was, because uh, I think you might find it interesting also. Uh, it's memes! It's an internet meme. Uh, it's an internet meme uh, uh, being brought into real life. Uh, what does this mean? Well, uh, on the Chinese internet, uh, I guess the exactly the same as on the American or the, the Western internet, you have to, um, they censor your speech based on uh, coded words, right? Um, you say the wrong word and like the eye of Sauron just whoom, to your location and they, and they delete your post and they, they deduct your social credit score in an extreme case. And uh, uh, yeah, and you get in trouble, you lose your channel. I lost my channel that way. Uh, which I told you yesterday. Um, so you have to speak in like this coded language, right? And you, you've got, you, people get used to, I've gotten used to, uh, speaking coded language. Like you can't say Chinese Communist Party. You, have, you cannot say uh, Chinese government. You shouldn't say government, right? Uh, you definitely can't say uh, 8964 because <laughs> the 8964 is like, uh, that's uh, June 4th, 1989, which is the, the Tiananmen protest. You can't say that. Um, you can't show a picture of an ice cream cake that looks like a tank on June 4th, which uh, happened to a uh, very, very uh, famous uh, live streamer in China. Like he was given, um, it was June 4th, and he was given a picture of, he was given an ice cream cake and he smiled at it, and that was enough. He lost his channel and he disappeared from the Chinese internet. Nobody knows where he is. No, I know where he is. He's on Twitter. I follow him. Um, but uh, his career is pretty much over. So, <clears throat> right, so instead of uh, Chinese government, you have to say uh, ZGZF, which is code for uh, Zhongguo Zhengfu, but I don't think you can say that either, either anymore. You just have to, you know, kind of allude to it. Um, there was an incident, I didn't have time to pull up the, uh, uh, this was uh, a couple months ago. Somebody hung a banner in, uh, in Western Beijing that um, <clears throat> uh, I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was uh, some anti-COVID stuff, right? You know, it was it was a a protest before the protest, like uh, a lead up to the protest, like rumblings in the in the ether, uh, and uh, it got shared everywhere, but it got knocked down, right? It, they, uh, and the, any reference to it, so um, people started calling them uh, the warriors, right? The warriors. So the word warrior. 
got knocked off social media, including like, so they started uh, posting like uh, images of the, the Golden State Warriors, which I guess are some kind of a sports team, right? And then they censored that. And then people started saying, Wokanjana, I saw it, right? I saw it, just the words, I saw it. And that started getting deleted, right? It's getting, it got really, really absurd. And today it got, well, recently, this week, it got even more absurd, right? So after the, um, the fire in Urumqi, which is the catalyst for uh, everything that's going on right now, um, <clears throat> people started sharing around this article, like uh, saying, uh, describing what actually happened, because the official line on, uh, from the Chinese government is that um, 10 people died and nine were injured. And it's really galling because the Western press is reporting the Chinese government's figures, which uh, 44 people died and uh, more than 30 people injured, uh, 50 people injured. And um, I'm not going to show it, but I'll link it in the description. Um, there is a video from uh, a channel called uh, The Voice of the West, which has... Uh, uh, a, a supercut of the 911 calls made to the police as they're dying. You hear people screaming in the background as they're burning to death. It's harrowing. Um, I'll link that. So people started sharing around this article, which, uh, you know, uh, exposed the, the government's lies. Oh, and another thing, um, local officials, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Local officials um, blamed the deaths on the residents saying that, uh, that their, uh, uh, their, uh, their, their ability for self-preservation is weak and they don't know about the fire escapes, right? Which makes it even worse. But how can they, they, they were locked in their houses. They were, their, their doors were wired shut. So they started sharing around this article exposing the truth and this went triple platinum viral all over the internet. People were sharing it and of course it gets deleted and they share it somewhere else and it gets deleted. And, uh, uh, they tried to. Uh, tr I heard today that the that um, Apple is helping censor uh, uh, this information by um, limiting. Uh, what were they doing? Uh, limiting. Uh, what's their peer-to-peer -peer file thing? Uh, drop something. I forget. I don't care. Anyway, so Apple is helping the, uh, uh, the the Chinese government suppress this information. So, <clears throat> in response, uh, this channel. Uh, where's his name? Uh, it was 60 Data, I recall. Liu Wei Xuju, that blog. They took the article and they replaced every word in the article with the word hao, which just means good or okay. So it was like, okay, 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 okay. It's the article, but every, every character has been substituted and the image has been substituted with the word. And this has become like a protest meme, just the word hao. Right. And then it gets deleted and then, OK, so they start deleting that just the word OK. Right. They start deleting the word OK. And so people started doing this. Right. Just a blank image with nothing. But it's in the format that everybody recognizes already. Why does it say 2020? That is not accurate. This is this is this is new. Right. And so people just start repeating words like this. This is the article. It's all. Do 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 right 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 right. Jong 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 Middle 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 middle. Right. Win 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 win. Bad 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 bad. Like that. I have no idea what this means. Bad water. Right 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 right. Yes 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 yes. Right 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 right. Yes yes yes. Like that. And these are getting deleted also. So, the Chinese government is censoring blank information okay and uh <clears throat> this meme uh translated over into a student protest in uh Chengdu it was uh, uh, a at a at a at a Chinese university in Chengdu was the capital of Sichuan down in the uh the southwest and um <clears throat> and uh the people were holding up blank pieces of paper well, some were holding up blank pieces of paper, and some were holding up uh, um, pieces of paper with their, like their demands on it, right? Which nobody could read. But just this girl was holding up a white piece of paper, and she got arrested 
for holding a white piece of paper. So this, uh, um, this white paper meme, this, this blank paper meme, um, it works on many levels. Um, one is solidarity with the, with the girl who was arrested for doing nothing. Um, uh, another one is, uh, <clears throat> what is just pointing out the absurdity in the system where you can uh, say nothing and still get arrested. Right. Because uh, and so the, this is the character that the Chinese protests have taken on in most of the country, everywhere except Shanghai. So uh, um, protesting without saying anything illegal. Don't trip over the sensitive words. Right. So uh, here is I, ho I hope you can hear this. This is a protest in Beijing from yesterday. Okay, they start out saying, he's saying uh, uh, this, these standard slogans, we want freedom, you know, we don't want to lock down. And this one guy says, well, I want to take a COVID test. And everybody laughed. And then they start repeating it. Same one again. And then he says, I want to scan my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, no, my QR code, which is the, the code that you have to use to get, uh, get into places. Your, uh, uh, your COVID passport. I want to scan my COVID passport. Right. Uh, and then here in, uh, in Shanghai, can I make this bigger? Maybe not. Uh, another non-protest protest. This guy is out in the middle of the street. I'll show it to you. We need to be brave. Is it illegal for me to be holding a, 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 a bouquet of flowers? He says. <laughs> is, it this, is this illegal? Apparently, yes. Okay, and then he says, they don't dare arrest all of us. And, uh, well, maybe not all of them. They can definitely arrest him, because watch. We, pe Chinese people need to be braver. And he's taken off his mask, which is a big deal. You don't need to be afraid. What are you afraid of? And then they grab him. And they shove him in the car. Let him go. He didn't do anything illegal. He was holding a bouquet of flowers and saying, be brave. Right. And then I found this. This is really funny. This was at uh, uh, Tsinghua University in, uh, in Beijing, which is interesting because it's like the second, the number two university in the country. And it's where the CCP recruits, you know, a lot of his guys. You know what that is? That's Friedman's formula. I had to look it up. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a coded message. It's a, it's a very learned protest. Freed man. Yeah. Right. Um, so, yeah, it, uh, it, it works on several levels. It works on, uh, on the level of uh, solidarity with the, with the girl who got arrested. Um, doing the non-protest protest, right? Like uh, pointing out the absurdity in the system. Here I am saying nothing and it's still illegal, right? But it also works on a third level. And I don't think this is only my own personal interpretation because I've seen one other person um, say it. Uh, he's a guy, um, Lao Hei, uh, Old Black, right? It, very good channel. I watch him every day. Uh, and um, a level deeper, there's a, there's a line in the, in the Tao Te Ching, which is like the, the book of Taoism. Like if you know three lines in the Tao Te Ching, you know this one. It's Da Shang Wu Xing. Right, it's uh, large, large shapes have no form, or large form have no shape, right? Which is, um, it's one of those pithy expressions we make fun of, like in the West, like it's, what does that even mean? But uh, it means um, by saying 
nothing, you're actually saying everything, right? Uh, nothing is everything and everything is nothing. So this, this piece of paper, you could say it says nothing, but you could also say it says everything, which I think is, I don't know, really kind of deep and kind of moving, right? Uh, and I want to say one thing about um, the protests in Shanghai, which is the one that the West is covering. I said that already. Um, are completely different. They're saying, you know, uh, you know, Xi Jinping stepped down, Winnie the Pooh stepped down, um, which are Western slogans and completely unlike, uh, you know, the stuff in the rest of the country, right? Which makes it a little bit suspect. And people have said, uh, people have uh, said that they suspect that this particular protest um, may not be affiliated with the rest, right? Maybe it's uh, uh, maybe it's Jiang or maybe it's the West. You know, like uh, I don't know. I know it's what everybody wants to hear, but it's um, extremely unlikely that uh, uh, Chinese people would be shouting these Western slogans and using Winnie the Pooh as an insult. Like who does that? Americans do that, right? They don't do that here. I mean, it was a, it was a funny joke, but it's not an insult. Um, right. So there's that. Um, other places in the country, and this is interesting, uh, disappointing to some people maybe, but um, uh, like in Beijing, there was one protest where they're holding up pictures of Mao. And uh, there have been many protests where uh, they sing the, the International, in International uh, which is like the, the, the song of communism, and also the Chinese national anthem. Well, why would you do that? Um, Interestingly, the words of these songs, they are revolutionary songs. They're about rising up and being brave and throwing off oppression. You know, like, somebody didn't think ahead. So, uh, and there, there's one part in the song that goes, Chilai, Chilai, rise up, rise up. And when they got to this part of the song, they, they yell it, right? And so it's, uh, the Chinese national anthem has become a, uh, an anti-CCP revolutionary song. <clears throat> Oh, and I got to tell you this. I got to tell you this. Um, this happened about six hours ago, according to my internets. This is the um, the Shanghai MNG Stationery uh, Company, and um, uh, me reading and translating at the same time is going to be real slow. So I plugged it into uh, Google Translate. It goes like this: Shanghai uh, Chengguang Stationery Company, our our company, has launched a strong campaign against the so-called white paper revolution and white paper movement in Shanghai, Beijing, Nanjing, Wuhan, Chengdu, Guangzhou, and other places recently in order to maintain national security and stability. In order to prevent criminals from hoarding large amounts of 4-4 white paper for illegal activities, our company will soon suspend the sales of A4 white paper in all online and offline stores in cooperation uh, and cooperation channels from midnight on November 29th. Excellent. <laughs> Primo stuff. Uh, right. Uh, and before I conclude, there's one other thing that doesn't, it doesn't really deserve a video of its own. But um, uh, if you watch, if you watch the protests, if you're addicted to watching protest footage, like I apparently am, I've done nothing else. I've done nothing productive uh, this entire week, but watch protest coverage. Um, uh, if you hear a song being sung in the background, it is this one. Um, it is the song Sea and Sky by Beyond. Um, in my opinion, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm getting very verklempt. This is possibly the best song on the best album ever made in the Chinese language, in my opinion. Um, even I probably can't play it, but I'll link this in the description also. Um, it's a really good song, uh, made even more poignant by the f uh, fact that uh, this guy here, Johnny Koo, died young. He wasn't killed or anything. He fell off a bridge. But uh, I want to read to you the, uh, the bridge of the song, which, uh, uh, which I think I can translate on the fly. It says, and this is my translation. It says, please forgive me for uh, being um, impetuous and disobedient all my life for loving freedom. And I'm afraid that one day we'll all, we'll all fall down. Uh, abandoning uh, ideals or abandoning freedom, anybody can do that. Um, and I'm afraid one day it'll just be you and me. Jesus, I'm doing it. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, 
So, um, it's a really good song. And uh, I just want to close with uh, saying that, jeez, uh, need to cut away. Uh, saying that um, this is why communism will always fail, right? This is why the radical materialism will always fail. Because um, money and infrastructure and force uh, do not move the world. Uh, people move the world, and uh, ideas move people. That's all.